We are in a state of emergency. Prejudice. Wrote a song about it? Like to hear it? Here it go. Free your mind. It was a guy on Facebook telling me, bragging about Minister Farrakhan, nobody don't know you. What have you done? Nobody don't know you. Trying to degrade me. Trying to shame me. Well, first of all, Louis Farrakhan been doing his thing, what, 60 years? Riding the coattail of another man. Begging people for money for 60 years. Nobody giving me no money. I'm not running. I'm not riding the coattail of another man. He's the one that need Allah. I don't need Allah. He's the one that need Elijah Muhammad. I don't need Elijah Muhammad. He need all this stuff in order to stand. If he don't, if he can't stand on Allah and the honor of Elijah Muhammad, he can't stand. I stands just as strong as he does. I don't need Allah. I don't need another man like that. A man should be able to stand on his own too. That's what, we, that's what we always tell our boys. When it's time for them that you think they need to leave your house, look, son, you need to stand on your own. You, you, your own. You don't need me no more. We make mockery of our children when they get a certain age and don't want to leave our house. But here we are as grown people. We need Jesus. We need our love. We need all this stuff to support us and do, but that's all right. It's the same thing. You should, you and I should be able to stand alone, on our own. You are gonna punish your children for doing the same damn thing in religion? Standing, you need somebody to help you. Oh Allah. Help me to get a car. Oh, Allah. Help me from getting shot. Oh, Allah. You still need help. When we should be standing on our own. And this I would say. If we had a vote, a voting process, and put me on the ballot against Tariq Nasheed or Sanetta or Louis Farrakhan or any of these people. I will guarantee you that the people, the masses will vote me to be their leader. Not because I'm all that, because I'm talking some sense. Because if we're bringing you a purpose, we're bringing you vision, we're bringing you a plan. And there's nothing these people got that can match. I remember I ran for class president against a popular girl. And not only was she the popular girl, she was a popular person in the class, but the girls outnumbered the boys. So naturally, everybody thought, well, this girl, shout out to Patricia London, that's her name. She might be out there. She might see this video, who knows. I haven't forgot you, Patricia, because Patricia was fine. I ain't gonna lie. Patricia was tall. Patricia had pretty skin. Patricia was fine. I started drop out so I could vote for Patricia myself. <laughs> hey, you know, hey, you know, hey, that's nature for you. 
So the girls outnumbered the boys. And naturally, everybody thought girls was going to vote for, for, the, for the girl. You know, boys basically vote for the boys or whatever. And so we got up and we did our little speeches or whatever, why you should vote for us to be class president, blah, blah, blah. And so the votes was counted. And I won by like three, three votes. And it was like, the only way I could win, I had to pull girl votes. And of course, nobody don't know who voted for what. But I do know, we do know that three girls had to vote for me in order for me to win. So whatever I said, I moved these girls to not support the popular girl. And they voted for me. So I don't care nothing about Louis Farrakhan popularity. I don't care nothing about the popularity of Tariq Nasheed and all these other YouTube ass losers. I know in the real world, I know in the real world, see, YouTube is not the real world. In the real world, I know yours truly. I will beat all of them. Probably by a landslide. When I took the Mississippi campaign to the mailbox, sent Louis Farrakhan certified letter, and one of the post office employees, they was just curious. What are you sending to Louis Farrakhan? I said, well, I have this uh, idea, Mississippi campaign, and the, and, the, and the employees, all of them was black, soul brothers and sisters. They gathered around, stopped working, and listened to, to uh, uh, how I explained the Mississippi campaign. They said, that sounds like a good idea. I hope Minister Farrakhan, I hope he... I hope he give it a shot. I hope so too. That's in the real world. But of course I knew somebody grandiose, and it, it, it's a possibility. He probably never got the letter. It's a possibility. But also at the same time, I know how these people think. It's all about them. What's this? Mississippi what? Vic, I know how they think. Because I sent a check and they cashed the check and they wrote me back. May Allah continue to bless you, brother. What about the Mississippi campaign? But they cashed the check. See what I'm talking about? When you have no honor, you're dealing with people who have no honor, no integrity. They do things like that. Because if you're not interested in the Mississippi campaign, why would you cash the check? Talk black to me, like Eric Muhammad said. <laughs> Talk black to me. I'm disappointed, but I'm not shocked in our brother Tahaka Bay because he told me he's forever and always. My black people, it's all about the unity, there's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody moving.